Good morning. Today is Friday. It is uh, cold and rainy. Uh, we might get some snow today here in Rhode Island. Well, now technically I'm, I'm in Massachusetts. So uh, I'm heading about, got a, about a 45 minute drive ahead of us going down to the uh, to the fishing pier. Um, and we are working on some lobster chillers today. Uh, this place has four of them. And I think I built one of the chillers. Uh, they're basically just a, an air conditioning unit on top of a PVC chiller barrel. And there's a titanium coil inside. Um, it's a, in, a, in a helical shape. Kind of looks like a spring. And it's a uh, like three quarter inch uh, rolled titanium, um, and it's connected to a uh, air conditioning compressor, which is 410A. Um, it's not quite medium temp, uh, so if you're wondering, hey, you're wondering probably, you know, 410A on chilled water, how does that work? Well, it's really not medium temp. I mean, it's probably running just a little bit below air conditioning range on saturation. So, um, basically we just put a fan cycler on the condenser, a low pressure switch and a pump down solenoid. Um, and, uh, and these units work great. So, uh, we never put accumulators on them. Never, never really slugged the water back. Um, so yeah, I mean these units at one time we were building them, uh, and we're not the only ones that build them. I mean, there's people out in Maine. I'm sure you know, cold or anywhere up in the coast, you can find these units. Um, and uh, anyways, they they used to be um, R22, and obviously you can't get an R22 condenser anymore. But the 410 just it works just just as well. So. Um, I don't know what's going on out there. I, about a year and a half ago, I fixed a leak on one of the condensers. So um, I guess two of the condensers might, two of the units might be down. So I'm gonna go check it out, see what's going on. And uh, hopefully it's something good. And if it's something good, I'll, I'll put it on video. So here we go. All right. Well, here we are. All right, so we got four chillers here. Um, these two are having some issues. So take a look at these liquid lines. Probably should be some kind of guard in front of these. See, this one's pretty trash too. from people uh, with forklifts. You know, moving forklift to pallet, hitting these. So, I'm gonna open, put my gauges on this, open up this electric plane, I'll see what's going on. Same with that one, and we'll get started. Okay, so the condenser fan motor just came on. After about a minute of running, we got no fan cycling. So, uh, we got a bad motor. Sounds terrible, so I'm gonna get a motor out of the truck and put it in. 1100 RPM. Quarter horse. to the supply house. One hundred RPM quarter horse. I right, put down the phone. Okay. 
so I uh, put the old motor here and uh, I wanted to mount this blade as low as possible to mount, match the other motor so it's pretty close you just gotta make sure it's not hitting that's all and I already got my uh, rotation correct now I just gotta find out what voltage I have so I'm gonna be using the red wire and I gotta find out if I'm at 208, if I'm at 208, I'm using 12 and a half. If I'm at 230, I'm using 10. So I'm gonna find out and see what we got. All right, so our new motor's running good. Uh, we got our rotation correct. We've got plenty of airflow. Uh, set it up for a quarter horsepower like the old one. And I'm gonna do something with this. Maybe I'll just tape it up and maybe I'll put a piece of armor flex on it something but yeah, it's running good uh, I'll show a um, I'm not gonna put a fan cycling none of those units have them and uh, these units have been in for quite a few years now so they never had an issue in the winter time so I'm gonna take a picture of our superheat and um, refrigerant pressures because I got the probes on and I got my suction clamp clamped right onto nice clean titanium coming out of the suction so yeah thermostat controls the solenoid it's a pump down system we got a sight glass and a filled the dryer here four ton expansion valve five ton compressor so um yeah All right, let's work on number two. All right, so we're back up and running. Got the fan motor in. Uh, double checked my wiring. So that's all good. Set up for a quarter horse. Moving plenty of air. I'm gonna do something with this. Maybe just tape it up and whatever. Put these armor flex on it or something. Um. Yeah. So the thermostat controls the solenoid uh, it's 410a so I'll show the pressures and the superheat 